Hello everyone, welcome back to another Student Life video. My name is Maisie, today I'm here with a festive video for you all, um, hence the festive red lip. I am quite feeling it today, I'm loving it. So today I'm going to be showing you my recipe for making some festive brownies because it's getting to that time of year where deadlines are approaching and everyone's just feeling a bit dull. So I thought in an effort to cheer up my friends and to cheer myself up as well, I would attempt to make some festive brownies. I find that baking, at least for me personally, is really calming and really fun and enjoyable. I took it as a nice break from my work for my course and from my lectures and things and I just thought that something festive and something tasty would definitely help cheer everyone up. So that was my plan. So for this recipe you're going to need three medium eggs, 40 grams of cocoa powder, 250 grams of caster sugar, 175 grams of unsalted butter, about a teaspoon of peppermint extract to make them taste pepperminty and festive, 75 grams of plain flour, 175 grams of dark chocolate and some candy canes for decoration. So first you're going to want to preheat the oven to 180 degrees and also grease a cake tin with butter and ideally bake parchment as well but I didn't have any and it still turned out okay. Next you'll need to weigh out the butter and the chocolate and melt them in a bowl over a pan of simmering water. And while that is going on you can measure out the sugar and then whisk in the eggs until it's thick and creamy. and then of course pour it over the chocolate mixture and fold it in. And then add your peppermint extract as well. Next you need to measure out the flour and cocoa powder, sieve that into the mixture. Once that's all mixed together, pour it into the tin and put it into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. The top should have a nice crust and it should be quite wobbly underneath. If you want to add a little extra festive twist to your brownies while they're baking in the oven, you can crush up some candy canes ready to put on top when they're finished. Then you should leave it to cool in the tin and cut it into squares before taking it out. As you can see, they went down a treat. We attempted to all take one at the same time, but apparently that did not work. <laughs> Everyone really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed them. I thought they were great. That extra little bit of peppermint just really made it feel so festive. I would definitely recommend these brownies. They are so tasty and so easy and cheap as well. Obviously, being a uni student, I'm living on a budget and I found that the ingredients I bought for this made at least two batches of brownies. So I'm gonna make some more, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but the ingredients on their own were quite cheap. Again, made a really good product that everyone loved so I would definitely definitely recommend this recipe. I hope if you decide to make these brownies they give you a bit of a push towards getting your deadlines finished and um, towards exam season as well. I hope you enjoyed this little festive brownies tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye!